You know, as Tim hinted at before, even though he is the former president of Oracle, he thinks that the opportunities in IoT will dwarf everything that we've seen in enterprise software. And it's, rel it's relatively simple. The internet of people is limited to the billions of people on the earth, whereas the internet of things is literally unbounded. It's trillions upon trillions of things. What we love about IoT is not only that, but also that it requires a different approach. And when we look at IoT opportunities, we're looking for this combination of markets and teams. We're looking for markets where if they succeed, you cannot replace them, and for teams that are uniquely suited to kill in those markets. This next team is the first team we had with a recommendation from a head of state. The president of Belarus personally recommended the CEO. And this is a team that is going after that pole position with software of owning hardware in a way that we think will be incredibly difficult once they're embedded. And it's a market that you can keep selling into, selling into, and selling into. And so with that said, please welcome the CEO of LavaTech, Tatiana. Since I was a kid, I used to grow tomatoes together with my grandma, and the way she was doing it, it wasn't very great. And I just couldn't believe that there is no more efficient way to grow vegetables. My name is Tatiana, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of LavaTech. We have developed a technology that helps to decrease energy consumption significantly and to increase yield for indoor farmers. During the last year, I've personally talked with over 150 indoor farmers. Currently, they're using lighting that is inefficient, expensive, and both damaging for the plant and environment, as well as they're using the same lighting solution for all the plants. We have developed, built, and tested the combination of hardware and software that gives each and every plant the optimal growing conditions on each stages of its growth. But more importantly, we were able to decrease energy consumption by up to 90% for the old lighting systems and from 50 to 75% for LED light systems and increase yield by up to 20%. The value of our startup comes not only from our technology, but also from our business model. We give access to our hardware, software, and database of optimal growing conditions based on the size of the greenhouse. As you may know, the LED green light market is crowded, and all of our competitors concentrate in increasing yield, but none of them can do decreasing energy consumption. And what more importantly, we are planning to turn our, our competition into our partners, because if our customer has LED light system installed, we will be able to provide them access just to our software. Our solution is complicated, but what we want to offer to our clients is simplicity. They pay a monthly fee and we give them a turnkey lighting solution which saves them money from day one. We have a clear R&D roadmap and by 2020 we will have a self-learning system that will be adjusting to indoor eco ecosystem for each plant. I've gathered together a very strong team of experts. We have expertise in electrical and chemical engineering, software development, marketing and sales. Why chemical engineering is important? Because biological processes that happen within the plant is basically chemical reactions, and our engineers know exactly what they are doing. Also, we have very strong advisors. Tom Wilkinson was introduced by Ravi in the beginning, and also Harrison Timiaki, who is an ex-VP of Nokia. The horticultural lighting market will be worth over six billion by 2023, and there are over 40,000 indoor farmers in the US, not counting cannabis market. We've been mentioned in the biggest online media portals around the world, including Mashable, and we've been supported by Climate Kick and EIT Food EU funded organizations. And we also won some startup competitions in Europe. We also received interest from other industries, such as outdoor lighting and commercial lighting, and we will be running pilots with our partners from Europe and Middle East. The LED light system will be worth over 100 billion by 2025, 
and with our technology, we are planning to change how the LEDs light work and how they are being manipulated. So I did find a way how to grow vegetables more efficiently, and I hope my grandma is very happy about that. And thank you so much for your attention, and I would be very happy to meet with you in person and tell you more about LavaTech. Thank you so much. <laughs>